A Maryland Circuit Court judge's decision is being questioned by child welfare advocates. A man serving home detention for a deadly child abuse case has been accused of abusing again while serving that time. This new case is happening in Frederick County, Maryland. Police there arrested a former police officer and convicted abuser Jason Michael Colley earlier this week. Kali is accused of harming his three year old daughter. Kali was living with her despite being convicted in a previous child abuse case that left another one of his daughters dead in 2017. Scott Broom joins us with the stunned reactions from the community. 43 year old Jason Michael Kali accused again of child abuse and assault after taking a plea for a 2017 felony assault on his own three year old daughter who died of her injuries nearly six years ago. This time, Kali is accused of hurting a three-year-old daughter born in 2020, while his previous case was still being contested. In charging documents, Maryland State Police say a child care provider reported bruises on the little girl's arms Tuesday, and the child told a social services investigator, dad gets mad and daddy bit my arm. Collie's wife denied the claim. No one in his house grabbed her or bit her, the court documents say. It should be noted, investigators wrote, that Collie is currently on house arrest, serving eight years of a 25-year suspended sentence for assaults that resulted in the death of Collie's daughter, Harper Grace Collie. Collie was sentenced in August of last year by Frederick County Circuit Court Judge Julia Martz Fisher after he made an Alford plea and avoided a trial. The plea is not an admission of guilt, but does acknowledge prosecutors have enough evidence to convict. Martz Fisher has not yet responded to WUSA 9's request for comment. But child advocates like Matilla Jones of the Family Tree here in Maryland is raising questions about why Collie would be allowed to serve home detention in a house with another child. She said she's outraged, but not surprised. In my practice, I do see um, biological parents that are allowed to maintain custody of their children in spite of the most questionable and seemingly unsafe situations. Unfortunately, there have been quite a few times where I've seen that the outcome of that only ends up being children put into further danger. Collie lives in Monrovia, Maryland, but is a former Fairfax County police officer who was fired after the indictment for the death of his daughter in 2017. This time, another judge ordered him held without bail on these latest charges. So tonight, Collie is in jail while awaiting the outcome of the latest case. In Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.